Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. As you can see, I am completely fresh faced today. I do not even have one drop of makeup on my face. And that is because I am gonna do my morning skincare routine for you guys. I wanted to share with you guys exactly what I do in the morning when it comes to my skin. About six months ago, I did do an evening skincare routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that video down below because that video is still very, very current. So pretty much what you see in my video, Six months ago is exactly what I do in the evening, but I do a lot of different things in the morning, so I thought it'd be a good idea to film this video for you guys as well. Like always, I will list all the products I use in the description box down below, so we better get started. So my skincare routine in the morning is a lot more simple than it is in the evening, because in the morning I'm pretty much going to work. I just wanna take care of my skin, you know, as fast as I can, but I still think it's important to take care of your skin in the morning, but I do skip a lot of steps that when in the evening I have more time, I can dedicate more time to my skin, I do those steps in the evening. For example, face mask, I never do face masks in the morning. Scrubs, I usually don't do scrubs in the morning either. So my morning routine is a lot more simple, a lot less products and a lot less steps. So pretty much this is just my quick morning routine. So let's see. Um, of course, in the morning, the very first thing I do is to wash my face, and I always use the Clarisonic. This I use morning and night, and I like to do it in the shower. I pretty much don't really do it much in the sink, but pretty much I do it in the morning when I shower and before bed when I shower as well. So, love the Clarisonic. This is the Mia Fit one, and this is the Cashmere brush which I really, really love. For what face wash I use with my Clarisonic, my two go-to ones that I've been using forever are, first one is the Fab Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser, which is this one. This is one that I really, really like a lot, and I use this, and I buy it over and over again. And then pretty much my number one favorite face cleanser is the Origins Checks and Balances. This is the Frothy Face Wash. So those are the two that I use all the time. But recently, the one that I have really been loving is the La Mer, the La Mer, the cleansing gel, this one. This is the one that I've been using a lot lately. Yes, it's very, very pricey, but it smells so good. It feels so good on the skin, and I love to just put some pumps on top of my Clarisonic and wash my face with that. So pretty much, these are the three that I like to alternate with, and these are pretty much the two that I have been using already for years, and the La Mer is one of like my latest purchases, my latest splurges, but very good cleanser as well. Next step for me is to tone my skin, and that I always do morning and in the evening. But in the morning, I like to use different toners than I do in the evening. Like I have pretty much what I have in there in the bathroom are my evening stuff, and then what I have here in my vanity is my morning stuff, because I always sit in my vanity every morning to do my makeup, so I kind of do all that stuff here. And right now, the ones that I have here are two. I have the Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. This is the Rose Petal. This I got at Whole Foods. This is one toner that I have been using. And then the other one is the Umbrian Clay Purifying Facial Toner. And this is a more mattifying toner, whereas in the evening I use a more hydrating toner. So I guess for today I'm gonna use this one. You have to shake it up just because it has, you know, it's like, it's like it has clay in there because it's like a very funky color type of toner. And I always use these oval pads. I go through these oval cotton pads like you have no idea. I always get those at CVS. One thing I also usually do not do in the morning is apply any like acne medication to like any pimples. I kind of do that if I need to, but usually I leave that for the evening. Today I actually kind of need to because I have one big one here and one here. So for today, I probably would use a little bit of an acne medication. The ones that I use are the Max Complexion Correction Pads from Peter Thomas Roth and the Kate Somerville Anti Bach Lotion. This is just pretty much what I have. Um, and anytime I have a breakout, those are the ones that I use. I pretty much use them as a spot treatment. So today I'm just gonna kind of take the Kate Somerville one and apply some on the one right here and the one right here because they are massive and they're taking forever to go away. So just gonna apply that as a spot treatment there and there. I can't put this all over my face because it'll dry it out. And same with this one, you know? So I kind of try to avoid using these twice a day. I usually just use them in the evening, but when it's an emergency, whoops, 
when it's an emergency like I have right now, then I will definitely use them twice if I have to. My next step is to apply a spray. And yes, I like to do both, a toner and a facial spray. I feel like the spray kind of like wakes, wakes you up. It's like invigorating, it's like energizing. I just really, really like it. And I just love to spray it. It kind of just like wakes you up just a little bit more. And my go-to one is the Caudalie. Like I'd rather skip the toner and do the facial spray, but when I do my morning routine as I should do it, I'll most likely always do both. So the very first one that I love is the Beauty Elixir. This is definitely my go-to from Caudalie. I love this one. I also love the scent. From Pixie, I also like the Glow Mist and the Hydrating Milky Mist. These two are really, really great. And most recently, another one that I'm using is the Too Faced, the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer with Coconut Water Spray. It's also a setting spray, but I like to use these more as a priming spray. And another one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So I do use this one as well. For today, I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that I've been using lately, which is the Too Faced one. This is, I just recently opened this one up and I'm really enjoying it. It has a really good coconutty smell. So the next step for me is to apply a facial oil. This is my second to last step before I use moisturizer and the oil that I usually always gravitate towards is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. So I get a couple drops onto my hands and I kind of just rub it together and I press it on my face. So I just press it like this. And the last thing I like to apply is my moisturizer and I am currently using the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. This is the one that I'm using right now. I sometimes have one or two open but I don't like to have too many face creams open. Another one that I really love that I already ran out of, this one I haven't even opened, it's brand new, is the Origins Ginseng. This is the Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. And another one that I like to use is the Rose Hydrating Gel Cream from Fresh. So as you can see, the creams that I use during the day are more gel-like and they're not so creamy and so thick. It's kind of like a gel that it just feels refreshing. It's like light but it moisturizes a lot. So that is pretty much my style of moisturizer for during the day. In the evening, my go-to one is the Fresh Rose, the cream that's a lot thicker than the gel, but the gel I love for the day. And I've gone through a gazillion of these, but this one I haven't opened yet because I opened up the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Cream from Sunday Riley. So that is the one that I'm going to apply. So I get a little bit on my hand and I kind of rub it on my face. I also like to press it in. Sometimes I press it in and then other times I just like rub the rest. And I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going like in and out of focus. Hello. After I apply my moisturizer, then it's when I pretty much start my makeup routine. The next step would pretty much be to apply a face primer. In the morning, I tend to gravitate more towards a moisturizing primer. One that I like a lot is the Hourglass. This is the Veil Mineral Primer. Love to use that one in the morning. Also like to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which also has coconut. It's the same one, pretty much the same line as the Hangover Spray that I used earlier from Too Faced. And I also like the Marc Jacobs, the coconut one, but I already ran out of that one. But yeah, for some reason in the mornings, I just like to you know, feel more moisturized. And when I go out at night is when I kind of do a little combo of the two, like the moisturizing, and then I use the ones that minimize the pores as well. As far as eye cream, I pretty much don't apply eye cream until I do my concealer. And the one that I always use in the morning is the Fresh Creme and CN Eye Cream, because that one is like my favorite. So this, I do use eye cream every single morning religiously, but I don't use it, you know, as skincare before I do my makeup. Um, I apply it during my makeup application, right before I apply the concealer after I already have my foundation on. And of course, the last thing I do want to mention is that I always use lip balm in the morning. I mean, lip balm is something that I use all the time. It's like skincare, it's makeup, it's a little bit of everything. I just always use 
lip balm. I think lip balm is so important. And my two go-to ones are the Christian Dior. This one is the Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm. This is one of my go-tos. And another one that I love a lot is the Fresh. This is the Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. So this one is also a really good one. Always use that in the morning. I mean, I will use lip balm any time of the day. Another product that I always have nearby, whether it's morning or night, is the Bioderma. This is a Bioderma Sensibio Makeup Removing Micelle Solution, just in case I have any extra makeup left on my face or if I mess up with my makeup during you know, my mornings or in the evenings, I always just have Bioderma. I have one here and I have one in the bathroom, just in case. So I don't really use it all that much in the morning as I do in the evening, but sometimes I do have to, or sometimes after I wash my face in the morning, I may have you know, some makeup left or something. You never know. Just another really good product to have that I do consider skincare. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my morning routine. Please let me know in the comments down below what is your go-to product to use in the morning on your skin. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna link my evening skincare routine in the description box down below. If you had fun watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. And as always, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.